In the year 1914 on Christmas Day On the Western Front the guns all died away And lying in the mud on bags of sand in Gallipoli by Francis Ledwidge. Where Aegean cliffs with bristling menace front the threatening splendor of that eyely sea lighted by Troy's last shadow. Where the first hero kept watch and the last mystery shook with dark thunder. Hark, the battle brunt. God's now to gather to himself all our loved ones that we remember here today and all who are at rest, in the, uh, at rest, and all are the faithful departed. God, the Almighty Father, raised his Son, Jesus Christ, from the dead. With confidence, we asked him to save all his people, living and dead. For our relatives and friends who have gone before us and await the kingdom, that they may have the reward of their goodness, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Thank you, Canon Nicholas and uh, Reverend Joe Richard Hardy. Uh, we will now lay the reeds, and uh, the first read I'm going to ask uh, Eva Torrington of the Stowell Municipal District to lay a read. And Eva will lay the read for all the Irish military personnel, including the Garrity Fund, that gave their lives in the line to the throughout the world uh, on the island of Ireland. Art, no. Up. Uh, I'm the
Thank you very much. No, if you'd like to see it again. Corin Michael, Abby Dorney, age 33, killed 1916. Gallivan, Patrick, Bally Bunyan, age 25, killed 1915. 1914. Healy Martin, literacy, age 20, killed in 1916. Mitchell Michael George, Bally Longford, age 38, killed 1915. Dowling PJ, Ballyduff, Bishop's Court, age unknown, killed 1918, US Army. Ross, no, not Nagashi, age 23, killed in 1918. <coughs> Galvin, Timothy, Ross, and Nagashi, age 28, killed in 1917. Cronin, Patrick Joseph, Dwa, age unknown, killed 1918, US Army. Downs Morris, Lizelton in the Stole, age 30, killed March 1918. And McConnell, William Gardner, Garriard House, Lizelton, age 26, killed 1917. Thank you, Joe. 44, killed 1914. Deneen William, Lixnar, age 24, killed 1916. Listen John, Tyree Terbert, age 35, killed 1915. Fitzmaurice William, Tyree, aged 29, killed 1915. <coughs> Barry John, knock near my van, aged 22, killed 1917. The Stole, aged 19, killed in 1917. Jude Roland, the Stole, aged 32, served with the Royal Munster for Emory Thomas Lewis, Church Street, Listowel, aged 29, killed 1918. Foley Richard Henry, Listowel, aged 27, killed August 1918. Keen James, Listowel Tralee, aged 33, killed 1915. Leahy Patrick Listowel, aged 53, killed 1916. The Australian Infantry. O'Brien, Michael Lestole, age 29, killed 1915. Stack John, Patrick Street Lestole, age 31, died of wounds, France, 1918. Uh, 12, 13, 14, 15 years of age. 
McCreevy began his career in the Admiralty Intelligence Service in 1914, and by 1916 he had joined the Royal Artillery and served at the Somme and at Ypres Salient. He was in the Royal Artillery, and one of his great poems, which I'm going to read to you today, is De Civitate Hominum, which reflects upon the beauty of a winter's morning on the battlefield and the colors of a, an aircraft going up into the sky, and then, of course, the tragedy that befalls the pilot and the gunners in that aircraft as they're shot down. It's one of the most powerful war poems, and it is something that we in North Kerry can be proud of, that McCreevy is regarded internationally as one of the great war poets of the First World War period. I know that Francis Ledridge is also regarded as one of Ireland's great war poets of that time, but this is particular to North Kerry. It's an interesting connection and is most appropriate for today. De Civitate Hominum. The morning sky glitters winter blue. The earth is snow white. With the gleam Snow white answers to sunlight, save where shell holes are new, black spots in the whiteness. For the fallen, salam the drums trill, give August. Ryan sings sorrow up into the immortal spheres. There is music in the midst of desolation and the glory that shines upon our tears. Captains and kings built no man's land. 